Welcome to Sportal Academy's Live Game Sheet Overview. In this tutorial, we will show you how to log into Sportal Play, confirm information to start the game, and updating this game sheet. When you're ready, let's begin. If you are the scorekeeper for the game, you do not need an account to log in. Simply go to the URL highsports.app slash login. Enter the game number and the home team ID and click login. When entering the game sheet app, the first thing you want to do is confirm all the information. You can click into each of the sections. If any adjustments need to be made to any of the players or team, you can do so. Then click next. Confirm all bench staff. If you need to make it, make some edits and then click next. Confirm that the game sheet is signed by his team staff. To confirm your team officials, you can click in the game officials and then click done. To start the game, you have to have all the boxes checked. For this game, I do not have any timekeepers or scorekeepers, so I need to enter them now. If your scorekeeper or timekeeper has been listed in your association, you can just start typing their name, tap for search, and you can find from the drop down list. Then click save. Until so information is updated, then click done. Now you're ready to start the game. From the right hand side, click start game. Before you start the game, double check that the period links are entered in correctly, then click start. When somebody scores a goal, Click on Home Goal or Away. A list of your players and their jersey numbers will be displayed. It's optional to pick Power Play, Shorthanded, Empty Net, or Penalty Shot. Enter the time of goal and the period, and then click Save. To enter a penalty, choose the Home or Away team, then click Penalty. Select the player that received the penalty. Enter the time of the penalty. Next. Click on the infraction. A list of the penalties will be there. Choose what the penalty was. Then select if it's a minor, major, or a match penalty. Then click Next. Some of the other features using the Live Game Sheet ad is to pull the goalie. Click on the goalie, enter the time that the goalie was pulled, and then click Pull. When entering goals, you could also list who got the assist. Click on the main person that scored the goal, then select the other players and it shows who got assisted by. An optional feature is to list how many shots were on goal. From the top right, you can click on shots and enter each period how many shots were on goal, then click save. If a penalty was served by another player, click on penalty, click on who received the penalty, then choose another player who served if you need to make any notes during the game, you can click on Game Notes, enter it, and click Save. At the bottom of the screen, you can click on Penalties or Goals to change the display to only show one or the other. When your game is over, click on End Game. If your game has been curfewed, enter the time that was remaining on the clock, then click End Game. Next, you're going to sign the game sheet. Once you click next, you're going to have the option to hand the game sheet over to the referees or skip. In this step, you're going to review the game. If anything needs to be edited, click on the pencil, update it, and click save. Next, you're going to confirm that all penalties and goals have been entered correctly. Click approve. The referees will now sign the game sheet, and then you can click done. If there's any flags that you want to enter about the game, Choose from the drop-down, then click Submit. The final step is to click Finish.